Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Game Finder. My name is Dave, and today we are looking at Blue Lagoon. Now, this is a review copy sent to us by Outset Games. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate your support. Now, this is a blue orange game. Uh, Outset distributes games from them. Uh, and Blue Lagoon, it as you can see, it looks like the the Islanders. Uh, beautiful mountain range in the background. It's really cool cover. I dig it. Uh, but essentially, it's just um, kind of how can I describe it? It's area control, but kind of in a snake fashion. You ever played that game on cell phone phones, uh, the snake game? Well, as you place your, your um, pieces out, it grows. It can most likely be in a line. That's what it's going to most likely be. But you can clump it together as well. You're trying to control these various islands with the majority and, do, and get certain resources along the way and score as much as you can over two phases. Uh, the production is pretty solid, and Blue Orange games, they really do make some fantastic games just in general. So my hopes... Are up that this one's going to be good. It's a Reiner Knizia game. He all and the art's done by Tomek Larek, Larex. I think that's how you say it. So Reiner Knizia, he's hit or miss with me. Going into it, good production company, uh, a hit or miss designer. Let me show you production and then I'll tell you how to play. And I'll give you my full opinion. Let's go. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. Now, first off, I want to show the player pieces the huts because they look like little Hershey kisses and they're the best parts in here the wooden pieces and they come in four different varieties good colors could use a green player but that's fine because they didn't want to double up uh, on having green resources and a green player I, I'm understanding of that because that does confuse things uh, sometimes so they get a pass uh, but all the wooden bits here are fantastic and ditto for the um, cardboard components very thick cardboard and the art on the cardboard is, these are the little um, player tokens uh, they're okay it's a person it does its job uh, but the main thing is the, the huts and the uh, resources here they're really cool you have five different things that you you have there in wooden form you have your player sheet when you are going to be scoring over two phases and you do get the bag because you will be um, drawing the resources out of this bag in the beginning of the game and placing them on the board. But that's not much else you do with the bag. So, now that you know what comes in the box, let me show you how to play with it. So the game's pretty simple. Uh, it takes place in two different phases, and each of the phases are pretty similar. Uh, what you're trying to do is gather these resources and cover as much of the islandscape as you can because um, at the end of each of the phases you'll score and you'll score stuff for like um, having the longest line, having uh, multiple of different resources, having the statuettes which are the brown pieces here, they're just four points. And how do you do that? Well, you're just on your turn simply placing down one of your pieces. In the beginning of the game, you have to place down one of your boats, and then you can start to place down um, any of the other workers that are branching off of your first boat piece. And as you go along, you'll be placing these down, and you will place on the uh, stone circles that have resources, and you'll collect that resource. And you can continue to do that um, sailing again if you want to. But again, you have to um, branch off your pieces. You can also put down a hut. Uh, that's important because the huts will stay from the first round to the second round. As your little tokens here will come off the board for the second phase. Now again, um, you will be going back and forth. And you can place these pieces in any unoccupied space that is legal for you. So you can be right next to a player trying to beat them out. Or you can just do your own thing and kind of sail on down here and populate your own island if you'd like. But the round will continue to go until one of two things happens. Everyone has used their, their pieces, your tokens and huts or all the resources have been claimed. Then you will do the scoring. Um, so you will get um, 
10 points for having a piece on all seven, uh, uh, well, on seven of the islands, and on eight of the islands, you would get 20 points. So on all the islands, you get uh, 20 points. And um, there are stuff like the longest line. Uh, if you populate different islands the most, you get the score where the like 10 here and six here. So the bigger islands are going to be worth more. And the resources here, if you have double, you will get uh, five points. If you have triple, you'll get 10. If you get four of them, you get 20. And if you get one of each, you'll get an automatic 10 along with each of the statuettes being four points. Then you'll go on to the second phase. You will take all your pieces up except for your huts. They will stay. And then you would play just like normal, going back and forth. The only thing that's really different is you have to um, go from your huts. You can't place any like fisher, um, sailor person uh, like you did in the beginning. You would have to branch on off from your huts. So you want to strategically place the huts so you can set yourself up good for the second round. You'll continue to do that just as well um, until all the pieces have been placed by the players or all the res resources have been claimed again. Do the scoring one more time and that's the game. What do I think about it? Let me tell you. And that is Blue Lagoon. What do I think of this one? It gets a 76 from me. It gets Game Vine Play It Award. It's a solid game. Um, the production isn't anything to write home about, uh, but it's still the wooden components are um, nice and durable. Got, they have great colors, but it, there's so many board games out right now. The components uh, the, at this point, they really have to be at a high caliber to really stick in somebody, at least a hobbyist game's mind. Uh, but this, for a family game, is perfect. It's going to sit right in the middle when it comes to like components, gameplay. And like I said before, Reiner Knizia is a bit divisive, uh, at least for me. Uh, and this one, I liked. It's a solid game. Um, but after I got done playing it, it was like, okay what game is next so this is a beginner game that i might throw out every two three months uh nothing i'm gonna revisit too much but if i wanted a game for a novice to the hobbyist board game uh this is a good intro game kind of uh, there are a, a few advanced roles that might trip you up in the beginning i didn't mention that when you um, place a uh, token on one of the stone circles, it completely disappears from the game. Uh, you don't collect it back. So you have to uh, be careful when you're collecting resources in that ma manner. So there is strategy in this game that might make it com complex. But I do think this is a great introductory game to the hobby. So uh, I think the components are solid. The gameplay is solid. Um, the length of the game I think may be a little bit too long, just just minuscule too long, uh, at least in a two-player game and a three-player game. That's about as high as I played it. Uh, so I think it's good for a, a family environment. And that being said, I don't think this is for advanced gamers who want a very deep experience. They'll probably play this one time and be done with it. So take that for what it is. You see what the game does for you. If you want to pick it up, you already know. It will be in the um, description below, so you can shoot on over and pick it up right now. Again, thank you so much, Outset, for your support. I really do appreciate it. This is a solid game, so if you come upon it, I do recommend you give it a try. So until next time that I see you, please click like and subscribe. My name is Dave. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You're already here on the Game Plan. Bye. Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers so subscribe now and help us out this video right here I think you'll like this video right here YouTube thinks you'll like or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer you can visit us at our social media outlets and we're going to be improving our patreon here soon that's all for today Miko it's time to go good girl Miko